Hey everybody, how are you doing? This is 50 Sunshine. I know it's been a while since I made any videos, but I've been busy. As a lot of you out there may know, I am in the military, you know, so majority of my time goes to the army and stuff like that. But first things first, shout outs go to Fifth Dread because if it was not for him, I would not be making this video. I'm basically making this video on the behalf of him, you know, because he doesn't have that much free time and I actually have probably a little bit more than him so that's the reason I'm making this video and plus I'm making this video for all of you people out there that's having a hard time with hyperspin now this video is going to show you how to install hyperspin how to get hyperspin set up and how to get PC based games working on your computer console so first things first you want to do is go to your internet browser now type in hyperspin boom it takes you straight to Google now what you're gonna wanna do is that you wanna click on the first link now I'm not sure if you need this option in order to download their content but what you wanna do is that you're probably gonna wanna create an account because I'm not, like I said I'm not sure if you can utilize this option without creating an account but create an account anyway because these people are awesome they help you out on a lot of things they've helped me out with the getting mine set up so after you create your account you want to go to downloads after you go to downloads you click on hyperspin 1.0 downloads you click on hyperspin 1.0 releases after that you click on hyperspin downloads now, if you click on Hyperspin Downloads, you're going to want to grab two things in here. You're going to want to grab the 1.2 pack and the 1.0. Now, I took it upon myself to download the 1.0 already because, as you can see right here, it's kicking close to 400 megabytes. And I don't want to waste your time with you watching me download this. So, download this and download this. After you have done those two, mine is sitting right here. I took it upon myself to unpack the first one because like I said I know you don't want to sit here and just watch the bar pan across the screen so unpack this one and unpack the 1.2 I'm gonna do that right now boom 1.2 is out what you're gonna do is that you're gonna drag this into here after you do that move and replace open up a window drag this and here Boom, that's done. Once it's in there, you can click on it, open it up. Now while you're in here, you want to create two folders. You're going to want to create an emulators folder and create another folder called modules. Whoops, modules. Boom, there we go. Now go to the emulators folder. Go to the emulators folder. There we go. And create a folder called PC games. Do everything just like how I'm doing it. Then after that, while you're in here, you're gonna create one called ROMs. Boom. Now that you've done that, go back to your hyperspin, go into modules, create one called PC games. Boom. Now that we got those two things out of the way, we're gonna go back into the emulators folder, back into PC games, and back into ROMs. Now, open up another Windows window go to where you have your PC based game installed that's what I'm gonna do right now Capcom Super Street Fighter 4 go down here create a shortcut and it's probably gonna send it straight to the desktop so just hit yes drag this into here boom where your ROMs is now Fifth Dread helped me out with this because I was lost. Now, what you're going to do is that you're going to rename this. You're going to get rid of all of this crap right here and just leave it at this title right here. Now, now that that's done, we're going to exit. Exit, exit, and go back. We're going to launch Hyper HQ. Now, once Hyper HQ is launched, I'm going to go to Main Menu Wizard. You're going to hit Add a New Main Menu. Title this PC Games. Make sure everything is titled the same. Hit Next. 
yes. We're going to add it after main because I want it to be the first thing once we launch Hyperspan. Boom, everything is done. We're going to go back to Wheel Settings, Emulator, PC Games, Execution, Normal, PC Game, Enable, Wrong Path, go here, go here, go here, PC Game, Wrong. Boom. Okay, extension dot LNK. That's what that shortcut was that we made earlier, remember? Inside of emulators, PC games, ROMs. This is a LNK file, okay? That's why we had to get rid of all of the extra extensions that follow. Now we're back in here. You're gonna hit use full path to ROMs, enable, search subfolders, enable, boom. That's everything in here is done. So you can exit out of here. Now, go back to your hyperspin folder. Now, what we have to do is that we have to create a database. Now, we have to create a database. So, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to go in here, PC games, boom. Now, I'm going to use this side to go and cheat. I'm going to go here, hyperspin, database. And I'm going to cheat off of another game. I'm going to use Super Nintendo to make a database. We're going to open this up, edit. We're going to go in here and we're going to delete this. Well, actually, what I can do is I can just do this. Copy this. And select all of this. And delete and paste. Now, we're going to want to close this out. So you're going to hit this menu and you want to change this to the name of your ROM so S S F I B Super Street Fighter 4 and we can go in here and name this to Super Street Fighter 4 Arcade, oops, I can't spell. Arcade Edition. All right. And what you're going to want to do is that you're going to want to get rid of these because you don't need that. That'll mess it up. You can title this later. The manufacturer's Capcom if you want to be super precise with it. And I think it came out last year, so I'm a lie. Can't remember. You, can, you don't have to put that in there, but... It just makes the game look sexy. It's a fighter. Boom! We're going to hit here. We're going to hit save as. And you already know where we're going to save it at. In PC games. Boom. Go in here. Go down here. Uh, highlight all of that. Name it PC games. Remember, everything has to be titled the same. Don't be difficult. Save. Okay, now, now that we have that done, we can exit out. We can go here, go back, go back. Now we have to create a module. Now, I will not lie to you. I was super confused when it came to modules, okay? Now, like I said, Fifth Dread helped me out. I cannot give this man enough credit. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to put his link to his website down in the description. Support the guy. If you have any issues, you know, just hit him up and ask him. But don't bombard him. But he helped me out dramatically. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to go into my module on mine. Because I'm going to open it up. And you can pause the video and just copy what you see in here. Just copy what you see in here. So I'm going to copy this module that I already have and I'm going to paste it in here. Boom. So let's test it out and see how it runs. Let's pray that we got it right on the first try. All right, guys, let's see.
Will it launch? Yes, it will. Boom. There you guys go. Super Street Fighter 4. Working in hyperspace. I hope you can see it. If not, I apologize, but it is working. Super Street Fighter 4. All right. We're going to exit. All right. There you go. Super Street Fighter 4 working in hyperspin. We can exit out of hyperspin now. All right, guys. Later on, I'm going to make another video showing you how to add wheel art so that the PC games won't look so bland. And um, this is just part one of my videos. I'm going to create other videos showing you all how to, you know, implement the other consoles like Dreamcast, Super Nintendo, Nintendo, Sega Genesis, Game Boy, Wii, GameCube. Um, I just have to find time to do it. But here you guys go. I hope you guys like it. If, you know, give me some thumbs up. Subscribe to me because I got a whole lot more coming for you guys. All right. So this is 50 Sunshine. Take care. Be safe.